Ariel Dorfman, an Argentine Chilean American writer, playwright, and advocate for human rights, delves into his tumultuous journey in his memoir, Feeding on Dreams, Confessions of an Unrepentant Exile, 2011. At its core lies the seismic event that shook Chile in 1973, the military coup led by General Augusto Pinochet, which resulted in the tragic suicide of Marxist President Salvador Allende to evade certain torture and death. This coup plunged Chile into two decades of dictatorship under a military junta, during which the nation's constitution was suspended, and thousands of perceived dissidents vanished or met their demise. Dorfman recounts his own harrowing experiences as a young dissenter amidst the chaos and danger, holding on to hope for the restoration of democracy in Chile. After years of living in hiding in Paris and Amsterdam, he eventually sought refuge in the United States, only briefly returning to Chile upon the restoration of democratic governance. His memoir serves as a poignant reminder of the profound sacrifices made for the sake of human rights and freedoms. Dorfman contextualizes Chile's turmoil within the broader spectrum of international politics in the 1970s, highlighting the clash between Marxist and fascist ideologies that tore at the fabric of society. He played a role in the short-lived Allende government, which was swiftly extinguished by Pinochet's coup. During his exile, Dorfman grappled with the heartache of being estranged from his homeland, a sentiment he articulates through diary entries upon his eventual return in 1990. He reflects on the profound sense of alienation upon seeing a country transformed in ways both familiar and unfamiliar. In essence, Dorfman's memoir serves as a testament to the enduring struggle for democracy and the enduring toll it exacts on those who fight for it. In 2006, Dorfman embarked on a journey back to Chile to produce the documentary A Promise to the Dead. This project, along with its source material, the memoir Heading South, Looking North, A Bilingual Journey, captures Dorfman's complex feelings of detachment from a once-beloved homeland. Through both works, Dorfman grapples with the profound loss inflicted by the fascist regime that reigned from 1973 to 1990. The atrocities committed during this period, including the deaths and disappearances of thousands and the torture of tens of thousands, weigh heavily on Dorfman, who carries the burden of survivor's guilt. Despite the risks to his own safety, Dorfman actively participated in the struggle to restore democracy in Chile. Yet, he mourns the ongoing violent battles for democratic ideals in parts of the world that were thought to have liberated themselves from fascist rule. Throughout his ordeal, Dorfman finds solace in the unwavering support of his wife and parents during times of intense distress. However, amidst the bitterness of his experiences, Dorfman finds moments of joy in familial reunions, which serve as beacons of hope for Chile's future. His memoir, though non-linear, delves into his early childhood and the stories of his ancestors. Born into a Jewish family with a history of exile dating back to the Trotsky era, Dorfman reflects on his grandfather's tragic fate, a reminder of the enduring legacy of persecution and displacement. In a poignant conclusion, Dorfman asserts that we are all, in some sense, exiles, dependent on the constant renewal of robust democratic principles for peaceful coexistence. It is through the loss of this harmony that Dorfman comes to fully appreciate its fragility and significance. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.